what's going on guys back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys five things I hate about my BMW so I posted a five things I love about my Z3 about eight months ago and it did amazing I got like 50 likes and almost 4,000 views now and uh, I think it's time we should make a five things I hate but I am gonna be making a lot of videos I actually have like 10 15 videos planned already for the next video it's gonna be dope and uh, right now we're right by a nice view nice looking view with the Z it's very dirty very dirty it's disgusting yes yeah, so if you like today's video drop a like comment whatever you guys need and I will get back to you as soon as possible so Let's start off number one. We're jumping right into it and the first thing I really don't like about my Beamer is the leaking issues. So I have coolant in here all the time and for some reason it goes all the way to a quarter about and I'm pretty sure the reservoir's leaking because it's a little soggy on the sides and on the fan. So it's probably that I gotta check it out and then Another thing, I got a crack in the valve cover, which kind of blows, and then my valve cover did leak when I first had it. So the first major thing I think is uh, leaking. So for number one, I, I believe it's, uh, it's leaking, definitely. Every BMW owner will agree with me on this, that uh, it leaks, leaks, leaks. I mean, I've had it for, two years it hasn't leaked a crazy amount but uh the like the coolant i said i did also have to replace the thermostat so the whole cooling system you got to replace when you first buy one all right so we are going to move on to number two so number two spot is probably the uh the seats well i have i have i have new seats but the old seats i'll show you in a clip and they're really hard and they're just very uncomfortable and these ones are way better so check out my old video that I made like a week ago and uh, it'll show you how to put these in the other old seats they were like 20 years old so it kind of makes sense to get new seats and also uh, they're just very bad if you guys wanted to you can ch swap them out and get the M bucket seats which are like a hundred times better than the uh, the original ones that aren't bucketed, which are kind of disgusting and ugly and uncomfortable. So uh, if you guys are planning on getting a Z3, I suggest you guys get uh, some bucket seats that you guys can uh, have. They'll be way better. Hundred times, hundred times. Ugh. All right, so coming in at number three, we have a pretty annoying one. I think that every person that has a Z3 will understand what I'm talking about. So, yeah, don't mind that squeak. I'm gonna WD-40 that. But, so I have the hard top, right? So this this is better than the soft top, like 100%. The soft top, it's very old and shit, but what I'm talking about is the seal. So I have a hard top seal on it already, so that that's kind of different. It it helps it a lot with sealing it but when you have a soft top and you have the seal and everything it's still gonna leak here's here's holes in the convertible here's just holes everywhere in the soft top it's it's really annoying except the rear right here it fits really nicely and it doesn't uh, leak into anything but right here is prone to leaking with the soft top it's very bad it's it's not good so that was one annoying thing that I had to do because I had to keep my car under a thing so when it rains it doesn't leak in here and fuck everything up. So yeah, mainly it's the soft top. I really hate it, but the the hard top is 100 times better. I I just love this car even more now now that I have a hard top. Soft top eh eh. So when you get a Z3, try to find a hard top if you have enough money because I literally spent eh, a lot on a hard top and it was it wasn't fun like it was worth it though to be honest but wasn't fun all right so coming in at number four I have it's just it's just like a minor thing I think it's just with my car but I uh, it's just annoying I tell me Z3 owners if this happens to you so all right so I have this 
glove compartment thing and it doesn't want to open Let's see I'm pulling on it but you have to literally shake it and then slam it up so I don't know if that's just me or if uh, it's anyone else but it's really fucking annoying and I really want to fix that so if anyone can help me please comment down below because uh, I need to fix that and I haven't searched it up to fix it because I didn't really care but it's just an annoying thing that I think is really stupid so uh, if anyone can help me just comment down below and uh, I'll get back to you to be honest it's kind of hard finding like flaws about this car because it's it's a beautiful car but I do have a couple like whenever I just like look at something I I kind of already know what I'm gonna say because there's just like a couple things wrong with this thing other than that the engine's fine I had to replace the thermostat and all that but that's normal with BMW E36s and shit so if you guys ever want a Beamer just uh just think of that in the back of your head about replacing the whole cooling system. I haven't done that though. I just replaced the thermostat. Dude, that is annoying. I don't know why it's doing that today. Probably because it's a little chilly out. But I think I'm already on the fourth one. So I'm probably going to do two more. I, I think I have two more. So six. But I'm still going to put five. So, uh... so coming in at number five, I have a funny one for you guys. I don't know if it's just me again. But... I have seen Z3 forums about it, and uh, it's really annoying with everything. So, uh, I've had it for, like this for two years now, ever since I got it. I just haven't had the time to replace it because I don't feel like it, and it's annoying, and I hate doors. So, yeah, let's... So, it's good going up because it's easier, but when it goes down, it wants to be a douche this one's worse so uh, actually it's doing good right now kind of so when it's in the dark like when it's nighttime and it's colder out it the windows start to go really slow like it's like a turtle and it's really annoying and uh, that's another flaw that I hate about this car so I'm gonna do one more for you guys because I want to and uh, I have another thing that I wanted to tell you guys coming in at number six uh, this lid shit the storage compartment is really annoying I broke it like a month after I got this car because my dumb ass put my arm right here when I put the soft top up and it, uh, it just completely messed it up and it cracked it and then my dumb ass threw it away when I could probably repair it now which I'm stupid for but what I'm saying is these are like expensive so if you guys have one you could sell to me for cheap I'd be down because I kind of need one and it looks ugly without it unless I'm gonna have to make one out of like an ABS sheet and just like create like a a good compartment so that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little video i don't know how long it's gonna be but uh yeah that's five things i hate about my bmw that's <laughs> it's so weird because i actually love this car so much well hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh stay tuned for the next one i got a couple z3 videos i'm actually making right now it's 12 o'clock right now and I'm, I gotta get busy today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe, comment down below if you guys need any help. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.